Paul Dagger hates me because uh, I foolishly uh, put my head above the parapet and said that I thought the paper was repulsive and, and not only repulsive in its uh, taste and in its hypocrisy but also in its um, uh, in its methods. One Rogue Reporter is a film about um, about my story I guess of starting out as a tabloid journalist and then quitting and then deciding to go after tabloid newspaper editors and use all the tricks and and uh, pranks that they'd taught me uh, how to execute against them. Uh, and and so, um, so, yeah, it's quite a personal story, I suppose. And, uh, but it's a, it's a comedy documentary. I mean, it's supposed to be funny and satirical first and foremost. But at the same time, we sort of hope that it's, it's got a, a serious message that, uh, you know, the tabloid editors who like to claim that, that they are, they believe in, you know, being able to knock on people's doors and invade people's privacy and, and write what they want, when you actually do the same thing to them, uh, they don't like it very much. I cannot, for the life of me, think of any conceivable source for this story in the, in the Mail on Sunday, except those voice messages on my mobile telephone. That led to a huge explosion from the Daily Mail and much desk thumping from Paul Dacre. To be honest, it started out really just as a bit, a bit of fun. Me and a, a buddy of mine who was a, who was a cameraman uh, decided, you know what would be quite fun? Uh, this was during the Leveson inquiry. Uh, if we went out and, and sort of, you know, went after, went on the doorstep of some of these tablet editors and, and see how they like it. And so we just started doing it just for a laugh and it went really well and uh, we thought we should actually do something with this. And so it actually then became a, a stand-up comedy show uh, that I took to the Edinburgh Festival and, and toured. Uh, and it was after touring that for about a year that we went, hang on, we should really try and get this footage that we have out to a, to a wider audience. So. You know, we, we contacted people like Hugh Grant and Steve Coogan, who have often spoke about these issues to do with the behaviour of tabloids, and got them on board, and, uh, and it's a steamroll from there into, into the film it is today. Basically, my view was that if it sounded right, it was probably right, and therefore we should lob it in. Those were his, uh, those were his words, and I, I, I always wanted to say to him, so when he uh, prints all his lies about what happened, uh, at Hillsborough. Did he think, well, it sounds right anyway, so I'll bung it in? It's got to be the Kelvin McKenzie one, uh, just because it works so perfectly. I mean, every punch we threw at him, he walked straight onto. And uh, you know, the setup of it was that we're from a, a, produ a, a TV production company making a documentary about tabloid kiss and tell stories. And uh, little does he know that the kiss and tell that really we're there to, to expose is his own. If you bring a tape along next Tuesday, I'll let you measure it. Well, if, it, if the text said... If the text said so, that? Well, it depends what the it we're referring to. I think a penis, probably. Um, it, I would say that he was pretty much done for. Pretty right? much done for? Yeah. I'd always been uncomfortable with some parts of, of working as a tabloid journalist. Um, you know, the hypocrisy, I guess, was, was the main thing, and, and that covers a lot of different areas. But even if it's, you know, you're, you're castigating some celebrity for, for going out and getting drunk or doing drugs or whatever it might be, and, and, and then you kind of be like, you know, we're all walking wrecks of, you know, that would be doing twice as bad as anything any celebrity could dream up. And, uh, and you know, you just felt like a bit of a hypocrite sitting there uh, passing judgment on people all the time. But for me, the real sort of insidious thing was, was so where I was working at the Daily Star was to do with their really anti-Islam agenda and really sort of pushing this Islamophobic narrative uh, that for me was sort of the, the final straw and, and I had to quit. There's nothing more gratifying than seeing a bully being bullied. You being a married man, uh, sending racy text messages would be hypocritical, wouldn't it?